Okay, so welcome to Puppet. So to go to Puppet, puppet.com, that's quite simple. If you want to create an account, it's right here. It's very simple. You just enter your email and then it's done. But we also already have one, so we go to login. So we enter our email address, the password, and then we arrive here and we have all our puppet we already did. So to make a new puppet, we click on make a new puppet, give it a name, pick a color, make it so. Okay, once you've done, once you've created your poplet, the first thing you want to do is create a new popple, um, which is basically the um, <clears throat> form they will use where you can write and put your information. So uh, you can add any text you want. Like that, you can change the color of the popple. You can put it any color you want. You can also change the size of the text. You can put it smaller, bigger, or just normal. And finally, you can <coughs> align it on the left, right, or middle, just like basically any other text you have. Then to create a new popple, you can just drag the line, and then you have a new one. You can add an image, you can go on Flickr. So Flickr, you have a lot of image, you can search for one. So let's just take whatever. Okay, to drag the page, you just have to click and do it. You can add some text behind, under it. And then well, do whatever you want with it. And what you can also do is draw some things on the image or whatever so just go on and you do whatever you want you can there's something you want to point out or something like this and you can also clear the drawing okay <clears throat> one other um, content you can add in the popple is um, you can add a video from youtube which uh, you basically have the same options that with Flickr. You have video they suggest you, and you can also search for one. So we'll just take one for the example. And once again, you can um, <clears throat> change the color and add some text if you want to. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, you can change the color <clears throat> and put it, let's say, put it in gray for this one. Then, to do another one, you can also add pictures from Facebook. You just have to connect and, well, you know how it works. It's quite simple. And you can also find a picture from your browser and just put it in. And upload the image. You can draw a message. And write a text. Um, and uh, so that's about it with what you can add as content in a pop-up. If you want to see the final result, you just have to click view all. Um, then we'll go in the different option. You can save it. Obviously, pr very practical when you uh, don't want to lose what you're working on. Uh, you can edit. You can undo the last thing you've done. And um, let's say I click on a particular popple, I can cut it or I can copy it and have the exact same <coughs> um, one as I had. So I copied it, I go back and I paste it just you do in a normal uh, picture or whatever when you're working on <coughs> another program. Um, then you can organize whatever your bubbles, so that's that's quite says everything you have to know. Then mm -hmm. to add content, Flickr we already did it. YouTube also, you can also add a map from Google Map. So to do so, you enter an address, whatever. You can click somewhere, enter a label. My polka. <laughs> and 
can add the map to pop-up. So there you have a whole new pop-up. Mm -hmm. And you can also rejoin it with some other pop-up you have. Um, okay. So once you've added the content you want, you can also, uh, one last thing you can modify is the name tags that you see appearing. You can take them off. And once you have everything you want on your poplet, you will go to presentation mode where you can record the order in which you want it to appear. So what you have to do is simple. Click on <clears throat> the different popol in the order you want them to appear. And let's say you just want to modify something and you would like the last one to appear as the number one instead. You can just use the plus and minus symbol that are besides the number. So once you're happy with the result, you can do your presentation. Um, the way to navigate through them is very easy. You use the right and left arrow to go from one pop popple to the other. Uh, when you have a video, you can play it while you're looking at it. Just click on play and it's supposed to work. And you can, so uh, that's basically it. You just go from one to another until the end and you can exit it. Um, and if you don't like the presentation you've done, you can clear everything simply by clicking on clear. So then um, you can export the old popple as a PDF or as a JPEG. So you just click on it and you can do it wherever you want. No. Also in the Okay, in the lab section you have the uh, one of the important features is the poplet permissions, where you can choose to set your popples uh, and your basically the whole work you've done to be edited by only yourself or any collaborator you will name. We'll show you how um, in just a moment. So um, one other thing you can view there is the time warp, which is an interesting feature which basically show you all you've done to create your poll. Um, so from with, uh, with regard to what interests us, that's about it in this menu. You can also add a poplet linker. So you can find your poplet here, you take one, you drag it, and then when people will get to it, they will just have to click on it and they will be able to view it. And you can print it if you want to. Then there is the zoom where you can zoom on whatever you want, quite simple. And uh, you can also change uh, the color you had chosen at the beginning if you want to change it. You can do so uh, in the top left menu. Um, one last thing you might want to do is share the result you had. So you can do it by Facebook or Twitter or any other um, social me media um, <coughs> tools that you have. And uh, when we talk about the collaborator, you can add them uh, in this section too. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you will be able to do your home public.